When the pandemic hit and the church buildings shut down, we all of a sudden, in a time when we really needed God because of all the confusion in the world, and we needed the encouragement of each other, but we didn't have that Sunday morning experience, that Sunday morning connection, the body of Christ, I'm so proud of them, I'm so proud of us, we started to really redefine church and we started to acknowledge God every day because we needed him, but we didn't have the Sunday morning connection. And, and we started to encourage one another throughout the week, every day. And in this, in this quarantine, every day started to feel the same anyway, but every day, seven days a week, we were acknowledging God and encouraging one another. Now that the church buildings are starting to open, I think it's crucial that we keep this seven day week church going acknowledging God every day, not just keeping him in a building on a Sunday morning, and also encouraging one another every single day. So that's why on my Sunday messages, and it started at the last two messages, I've been putting some discussion questions, or discussion and questions that just to get you to ponder in the middle of the week what was said on Sunday morning in my message. So I wanna kickstart this and in the description on Sunday, where I asked for you to get together, it's in my notes, so if you go to my YouTube channel, if you're watching this on Instagram, you can go to my YouTube channel, In my the link is in my bio, Facebook, same thing, my link is in my bio, or if you're watching this on YouTube, just click more under this video, and you'll see the discussion questions, and I'll put a link to the video I'm referring to from last Sunday. In the discussion, it was to read Psalm 19 and Romans 1. And it, and, and it asked the question, where do you see God's invisible qualities in creation? So right now, take some time, you can pause me, read Psalm 19, and then read Romans, actually, let's read Romans 1 together right now, starting at verse 20. For since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood from what has been made so that people are without excuse. So, why don't you go outside, take me outside with you right now, <laughs> walk around the yard like I am, and what are the things that you see? Where do you see, what do you see in that tree? What do you see, like God's invisible qualities in the creativity, in the shadows? in the light, in the dark, as the shadows move. Listen to the sounds. I was listening to the birds. It was yesterday or the day before. And all of a sudden I realized Psalm 150, right at the end, doesn't say let every human that has breath praise the Lord. It said let everything that has breath praise the Lord. And here he puts his worship in creation. Wow, his, God's invisible qualities. So not only do I want you to look at some of these things and and declare what they what quality they show about God I also want you to look at the things that God has put in his word and see if you can see them in creation so some of his descriptions he's wise where do you see God's wisdom for me it's in those big trees I see his I mean I see his wisdom all over the place but in those big trees that have been sitting on someone's front lawn for a hundred years, listening, watching, not saying anything, but observing the wisdom that comes from observing for a hundred years. I just see God's wisdom all over that. And how he listens and he watches and he speaks only when it's time and only when it's right, when it's time to move. Oh man, I love creation. I, well, I love God and seeing knowing that his invisible qualities are here. What about his laughter? What about his humor? Where do you see God's creativity? Where do you see his wisdom? Where do you see his sense of humor? Where do you see his love? Where do you see his might? Where do you see his tenderness? And just declare these things out. And if you're on your own, tell them to God. God, I see this. God, I see that. If you're with somebody else, encouraging one another, don't forget to include God together. I hope you're enjoying creation and God's invisible qualities today.